hunting wabbits. Wabbit wax. Hello YouTube, this is Silver Age Dave. This is my contest entry for Symphonic Elks 200 sub contest. What have I done? I've killed a rabbit. Poor little bunny. Poor little rabbit. All right, so most of my culture comes from Looney Tunes. I think uh, maybe a lot of other guys out there feel the same way. I love listening to Symphonic Elks uh, uh, Hall videos and his, and his stuff. It's just great. The music really is wonderful. Uh, I do enjoy the channel. There's a lot of great stuff on there. Uh, Elk is uh, involved in a lot of the uh, uh, community stuff. He watches a lot of videos, comments on a lot of videos. So... Uh, I think it's so important to be active and involved. So I am really happy to be submitting uh, this as a support for uh, Symphonic Elk's great channel. Uh, and I'm going to take the stuff out of order a little bit. Those are the rules, and you can certainly go to his site. I'll link it, and uh, you can read all of those. But I'm going to take these uh, in uh, in different order just you know, so I can make the video flow a little better. Uh, I'm going to do some shout-outs of some smaller channels right now. Uh, or newer channels, uh, our Wheatley, uh, all these guys are really in the chats, uh, you see them around, they're active and, and commenting on videos, but uh, our Wheatley 0206, uh, W-H-E-A-T-L-E-Y, uh, 67 subs right now, Bubs Comics, 45 subs, uh, Michael Smith is at 89, so he's almost at that 100 mark, Comics Channel UK is at 28, really uh, um, fairly new out of the gate, and DS Comics, 71 subs. So I think all these guys, there's, there's lots more I'd, I'd like to list, but uh, just for the sake of time, these are, are five that, that I think are, are really neat channels. Uh, I enjoy watching and interacting with them. So uh, Elk is asking for uh, a favorite comic under $10, and I'm going to pick this one. This is another one from my childhood. Uh, I don't know what a giant size Doc Savage number one goes for with the cover, but this is mine without the cover, so technically it's priceless, but to most people I think this would be a little bit under $10. I was always a big Doc Savage fan. Um, my uh, my Busha bought me this comic, uh, you know, along with a lot of other uh, great ones, and that was part of the formation of uh, Silver Age Dave as a young comic collector. Uh, this issue is from 1975 all right and then uh, he's asking us to talk about a spec issue I'm gonna go to that one next uh, I'm gonna use Lazarus uh, I think this is an absolutely incredible series I think it has a, a cool mix of uh, sci-fi there's if, if you want to call it kung fu or uh, fighting it's almost like uh, you know a, a cool matrix type thing uh, it's set in a, a futuristic world, which I don't think is too far-fetched. And this is the Lazarus for one particular family. There's basically a handful of families, uh, maybe a, a dozen or a couple dozen, that control the whole uh, Earth. And uh, rather than having large-scale warfare, which they do have, uh, each family has a uh, an entity called a Lazarus who is kind of a super fighter. And the super fighters will sometimes go up against one another. Now, they go up against the regular schmucks that are, uh, you know, sorry enough to be on the on the front line or wherever Lazarus is wanting to go. But it's a uh, really cool series. Uh, it has a very strong female lead. I think Hollywood uh, pushes that type of thing. Uh, I have been a Walking Dead fan. Uh, I think the movie, or the movie, the, the TV show, the Walking Dead is basically The Walking Dead. I'm not a huge fan. Uh, I watched uh, the the second in this back half back half of the season uh, yesterday. It was better than last week's Death of Carl, but uh, boy, they have a long way to go to impress me. Hopefully, some of the the cooler stuff from the comics can be integrated back in. I don't know how they're going to do that because there's obviously some characters that that aren't around in the in the show that are around in the comics. So. Um, good luck, Mr. Kirkman. I think once that show 
uh, runs its course and they're looking for something new, I think Lazarus could be the one. Uh, I'm, I'm deeply invested in it. I have a lot of copies of this uh, graded. I have a lot of raw copies. Uh, the series itself is run up through episode 26 and it took a break. And so in my opinion, this thing is in a cool off. I think you can buy these on the super cheap. And so that is why I'm picking this as my uh, speculation pick. I'd recommend anyone out there, go pick up the trade for one to five. If you don't like it, you let me know. Uh, and I will say, boy, you just don't have good taste. I'm not going to guarantee anything. I'm not foolish. But I think everyone's going to like it. It's a good pick. Lazarus right here. Image Comics. That's my spec. All right, YouTube. So one of the requirements, Symphonic Elks wanted me to discuss a culturally significant uh, um, comic. And I'm choosing one, maybe a little different than a lot of people would. Uh, and just to show that I am a little more uh, culturally sophisticated slightly than um, maybe Elmer Fudd, I am going to play some music, one of my favorite symphony songs, and I'm going to go through an issue that um, is one of my high-value books, and uh, I didn't think I'd be taking it out of the, the mylar and the board, but I'm going to do that. Okay, so uh, what we have here is we have Showcase Presents Green Lantern number 22. Uh, I'm going to try to hold it carefully. Uh, this is the first ever, or the first Silver Age appearance of Hal Jordan, and uh, one of the things uh, after I'd um, gotten this issue, I remember opening it up and reading it. And look, I'm I'm shaking again. That's what happened to me last time I read it. So I'm going to try to be careful. Uh, basically, uh, he is this tougher than nails test pilot in the story SOS Green Lantern, and he has a trainer. Uh, without wings, but he's being drawn in uh, by a dying, uh, uh, you know, alien Green Lantern. And so, let me turn the page here. So he really doesn't understand what's happening to him. He's hurling through space. He's coming into this space here. I seem to be moving. What's going on? I'm moving at such fantastic speed. And... Uh, And so then he finds this alien spacecraft in here. I'll try to stand this up. And then the alien summons him. And over in the right side, what he has to say, this most incredible experience, he says, good gosh. And from a cultural significance level, I'm going to set this down before I wreck it, uh, you know, Silver Age Dave, sorry, got a low battery warning. Silver Age Dave, uh, you get me in a bar, put a couple cocktails in me, and I have a repertoire that includes quite a few jokes, and uh, and I can be pretty, pretty fun. There's a time to let your hair down. But from a comic book perspective, uh, you know, we'll take any, any of The Walking Dead and, and really so many other issues out there. Um, and the language and the attitudes are so different. I don't think uh, the, the you know, original authors of comics, the original artists, I don't think they could have ever imagined, uh, we just talk about Negan for a second, who I love, but I think it just illustrates how far we've, we've come or how far we've, we've gone from the initial entertainment that comics provided us. Okay, again, this isn't a judgment. Uh, I'm not a jury deciding what's good and what's bad. Uh, but from a perspective, I can I can truthfully say I enjoy reading this comic. Uh, I will take the hokey stories and the hokey art uh, every single day of the week. I think it is nice to to for a little while be in a world where the worst possible scariest thing can happen and we would say something as terrible as good gosh
All right, YouTube, so that's going to be my video submission for Symphonic Elks 200 subscriber contest. These are my shout outs. You can find their links in the description below. You can also find Symphonic Elks uh, contest page in the link below. This is kind of a new thing. Very exciting. Look at that. Thank you so much. Silver Age Dave is out.